Math 76, Lesson 5, Order of Operations, Part 1. Hopefully you've been exposed uh, to the idea of order of operations before. Uh, there's a couple of different rhymes that some people like to teach, some people don't like to teach them anymore because of different opinions about uh, how to teach people how to you know, deal with these different operations. Uh, when we're talking about order of operations, um, the different operations we're talking about are parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, also known as PEMDAS. Or you may have learned it as brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, also known as BEDNAS. Or you might have learned it as neither of these two. Um, I like to use the word PEMDAS because I always learned the phrase in school, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, um, which is pretty interesting because my aunt's name is actually Sandra. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and learn how these apply when we're dealing with multiple operations in one problem. And by multiple operations, we, here we've got a problem that is not only addition, but it's addition and subtraction. Or here we have multiplication, or sorry, multiplication and division. In other news, uh, I found my orange pen today, so that's great. Um, oh, side note, uh, you guys should know by now, don't, don't do your homework in pen. The only reason why I use pen in these videos is because pencils are very, very hard to see on my camera. And, you know, it lets me use other fun colors like orange. All right. Anyways. So let's get started into the practice problems. So without further ado, um, the reason why our first two problems are grouped in addition and subtraction, multiplication, and division, because there's a key rule to PEMDAS and BODMAS, which is that multiplication and division are equals and addition and subtraction are equals. Neither one takes greater priority than the other. So whenever you run into a problem with multiple addition and subtraction problems, you simply work from left to right. So I like to draw these arrows whenever I put these in acronyms down. And if you need to, you can go ahead and write this down on your paper or on your test forms whenever you're taking a test. You can go ahead and put this off to the side to remind yourself it's a good thing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and work from left to right. 16 minus 3 gives me 13. And then 13 plus 4 gives me 17. So my answer for this first problem is 17. Now let's go to the second one. I've got 24 divided by 4. Again, working from left to right. Let's see here. 4 gives them 24 six times. So this is going to give me the number 6. And then I have 6 times 3, which gives me 18. So the answer to the second problem is 18. Now, what if I throw parentheses, or some people refer to them as brackets, into the mix? Well, brackets, you'll notice, come in front of multiplication, division, and addition, and subtraction. So whenever we see brackets or parentheses in our problem, we are required to solve whatever is inside of the parentheses first. So for example, this problem, it looks very similar to the first one. However, instead of doing 16 minus 3, I have to solve these brackets first. So uh, I have to solve 3 plus 4 first. 3 plus 4 gives me 7, and then 16 minus 7 gives me 9. So I have a very different answer over here. Right? So 9 is the correct answer over here. And then same thing with this one, 24. Uh, I cannot divide by 4 because 4 times 3 is in brackets. So I must do 4 times 3 first, which gives me 12, and then 24 divided by 12, which gives me 2. So my final answer here is 2. Now the last thing that you'll see is this fractional uh, or, or, well, these problems set up as fractions. So if it's set up in a fraction, all I have to do is solve the numerator, solve the denominator, and then divide. So uh, it's kind of like treating each part of the fraction like it has its own set of brackets or parentheses around it. So in this one, I will take 6 plus 9 first, which gives me 15. And then now what I have is 15 over 3, or 15 divided by 3. which gives me 5. So my final answer here is 5. Now this one, same thing. I'll go ahead and insert some parentheses or brackets into the problem. 12 plus 8 gives me 20. Down here, 12 minus 8 gives me 4. So now my division problem reads as 20 divided by 4. And I should know that 20, is, or sorry, 4 goes into 20 five times as well. So here my answer is also 5. All right, that's it for this lesson. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know on the school website, and I will see you in class.